my first video back on my little hiatus is not the video that I was expecting to be making. Bray Wyatt gone. Oh my gosh, I, I was in denial for a little bit. And it's crazy because I was scrolling on Instagram last night and I saw that Mustafa Ali made a post and I, I saw it was Bray Wyatt's picture and I saw the, the caption and I'm just like, wait, it's devastating to lose you. What are you talking about? I do what any normal sane human being would do. Go to Google and look it up. Oh my gosh, he's gone. Bray Wyatt's gone. And then I see the Triple H tweet X post this man passed away this this can't be and you see all these other pro wrestlers saying their condolences and everything like that and I just want to say like my condolences go to Bray Wyatt's family the Rotunda family his fiance Jojo his children like his brother like everybody in his family is close friends like my condolences go out to them it is a horrible horrible thing to lose someone whether they're famous or not i'm so i was shocked yesterday and i was like man i i feel bad for his family you know i hope they get through praying for them and everything but now day after it's hitting me harder and it's making me think about just the impact even the commentary of mental health and, and fighting with your demons, like the things that Wyndham Rotunda did in his characters transcend the WWE ring. And it, it's what for me personally, it's one of the reasons why I believe a lot of people, including myself, were able to identify with Bray Wyatt's characters to a certain extent because of it's just it was raw it was real it was showing the ugly parts and it man it his storytelling i start thinking about how when he speaks he moves a crowd and his talent and i just oh my goodness he's just one of the he's, he was only 36 he was only 36 i just think about how creative he was like the many like the, the, he, he reinvented himself like three times and every time was just so captivating i like the thing that i think about right now as i'm talking about him is when he debuted the fiend oh my gosh in 2019 Th at this point in time i feel like all of the WWE universe like not just the WWE universe but like the pro wrestling fan community should just come together and just think about first of all mourn Bray Wyatt and I know I keep calling him Bray Wyatt throughout this entire video I can't help myself that's how I know him as but we all know he's Wyndham Rotunda he will be greatly missed. So yeah, you're gonna hear me say Bray Wyatt a thousand more times in this video, but you know. But also think about the good stuff. Think about his stories, his best moments, his feuds. Like I think about him debuting The Fiend. He made like in, in, in the pandemic era, 2020, he made the feed made the thunderdome bearable oh my gosh and of course he's done dope stuff prior to that i mean i enjoyed the wyatt family man i was even into when bray wyatt teamed up with matt hardy and they were what the deliers of worlds like that was around the time when i got into really watching wrestling and bray it back together i don't know why but i was feeling it and then they became champions like i was feeling that junk and then you go to him transitioning and you know the firefly funhouse coming in and the fiend like oh my gosh i could go on is this just something about 2019 and 2020 the shift of bray wyatt the firefly funhouse the mind games oh my gosh and then it makes me think about when 
WWE was teasing the return of Bray Wyatt with the QR codes and everything. And like, I'm not trying to make it about me, obviously, but like during that time when they were teasing Bray Wyatt coming back, that was during my first year having my Wrestle Capsule channel. And it was great going through that story with you guys, going through the bullshit of, you know, they put up the quick QR code, we gotta like skate and watch the videos. It was such a fun time. And oh my goodness, when he came back in, at, in Extreme Rules, oh my gosh, like I didn't think they were gonna do it. I didn't think they were gonna do it, but they did. But I'm, I'm leaving a whole bunch of other stuff out that this man has done. Oh my gosh, like, Brody Lee passed in 2020. And then you have Bray Wyatt passing yesterday. And I mean, that's making me even more freaking sad. But I mean, I'm talking about Bray Wyatt's like a, like a portion of his wrestling career in WWE. Like I said earlier in this video, all we can do now is, you know, share our love and our condolences to his family right now. Think about the good stuff that he did with his career. The beautiful thing about this whole thing, this horrible thing, is the fact that us as fans of Bray Wyatt are able to look back in his catalog and relive those moments that he made for us, that he made for fans all around the world that we can share and we can come together and just just appreciate what he's done. I mean, I'm grateful for that, but it's so freaking sad. And to think that he died of a heart attack. Bray Wyatt was beginning to get better because I remember back in February, he had to go away and take a break because it was like an undisclosed illness that he was battling. And I'm reading that he was starting to make some improvements and COVID-19 really freaked him up, exacerbating his heart problems. <sighs> it's, man, it's freaking sad. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to come back and talk to you guys about how I'm feeling. And I also want to open the floor as always. Let me know in the comments down below some of your favorite moments of Bray Wyatt. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm finna go back this weekend. I'm about to, it's about to be a Bray Wyatt marathon. I'm about to watch some old stuff on YouTube, go on Peacock. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. I will be reviewing SmackDown, so stay tuned for that. Signing off, bye.